Michael Quandra is here with what's being done to prepare. Yeah, Reese, look, leaders in D.C., Maryland and Virginia are watching this situation very closely and making plans just in case this turns into a crisis for us. But they're also working with the federal government and the president's coronavirus task force. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan had a seat at the table. It was an update uh, for the federal leaders to kind of discuss with all the leaders of all the states mm -hmm. about where we where we are in the crisis. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan joined the feds in the White House Situation Room Monday to discuss the coronavirus, while the nation's other governors chimed in on a conference call. Some of the leaders in the administration were uh, talking about some of the travel restrictions that had elevated, mm -hmm. um, and they were just giving advice to the governors about things to be on the lookout for. Things like federal funding opportunities opportunities and the flexibility to shut down schools if the situation gets worse. We're obviously concerned about our kids in schools. We're also really concerned about older people in our nursing homes and our hospitals. In Maryland, six people have been tested for the virus, five were cleared, and one person is still waiting for their results. In D.C., it's the same. Six people have been tested for the virus, five are negative, and one result is still pending. Well, we want people to have the medications that they need. Mayor Muriel Bowser told WUSA 9 the city is getting ready for a potential outbreak, but says for now. D.C. is open. We're not shutting anything down. Our cherry fast. Blossom Festival will go on as planned. And what about Virginia? Well, nine people have been tested so far and all nine came back negative. But the state health department says doctors are still closely observing 100 people. People have to be vigilant, pay attention, uh, try to stay on top of the information, but it's uh, and be prepared, uh, but not to uh, not to panic. Not to panic for sure. Now, health leaders stress that they don't want you to panic, but they want you to be, be prepared for you or your family in case you all get sick. But uh, we surveyed a lot of stores in our area and found that their store shelves are empty for things like gloves and hand sanitizer. And for those of you all heading out to the polls today, the CDC says you can stay healthy by doing things like avoid touching people, wipe down surfaces, and the big one, Reese, is to wash your hands. Yeah, it, it, sometimes it's the simplest things. And I'm glad to hear we're taking it seriously here before any cases uh, of anybody being affected right here in the DMV. You were looking for hand sanitizer and you couldn't find any I could already. I not find it. Thankfully, I ended up finding some mm -hmm. uh, thanks to my sister. So shout out to her. But yeah, it was really hard. We went to five different stores and I understand the fears behind it. Yeah. You want to make sure your children have that for school. And speaking of schools, I got a, a letter from Fairfax County, the supervisor, keeping us informed about what they are doing. So to your point, I, it kind of puts me at ease as a parent, knowing that the county is taking it very seriously and they have a plan in place mm -hmm. should something happen. So my Michael, good information in your report there. Absolutely. For once, it's good to have a mama who makes sure I have hand sanitizer on yes. me at all times. She got, got it like, right around her neck. I got four <laughs> bottles in my car.